Hello, welcome to this English vocabulary and speaking lesson. We're going to learn how to talk about healthy lifestyles. And we'll do this by describing three pictures. So let's begin by looking at the first picture and learning the vocabulary. The first word is dumbbell. And this is an exercise equipment. Um, you can see it at the gym. And this is a very small one. It's a yellow dumbbell. We can say, I exercise with dumbbells. Muesli, a common uh, breakfast food. Muesli. It contains fruit, oats, and sometimes nuts and seeds. Nutritious. An adjective. It means something uh, that is healthy. Okay, so muesli and blueberries um, is a nutritious breakfast. All right, routine. That means something you do every day. My morning routine is eating nutritious muesli and exercising with dumbbells. Admirable, something you admire. It's an adjective. You could say that my friend exercises every day and I find this admirable. I have an admirable friend because they have a nutritious breakfast every day. Measuring tape. This is a measuring tape. It's like something you use to measure things. So I use a measuring tape to measure my waist or to measure my stomach. I use a measuring tape. Here we have a picture of a nutritious breakfast consisting of muesli and an apple alongside some exercise equipment. There are two small yellow dumbbells and a measuring tape. This image seems to display an admirable morning routine. Yeah. Muesli, apple, exercise equipment. Let's go to the second picture. So the first word is flex. And that means to make your muscles hard. So you can say, she is flexing her muscles. Can be a verb. Or they are flexing their muscles. But what muscle are they flexing? Well, it's called a bicep. That's a muscle in your arm. It's right here. So we can say they are flexing their biceps. Okay, next word, sunrise. The sunrise is beautiful. Sunrise. Skyline. So the skyline is um, the buildings in a city from a distance. So if you're standing far away and you see all these buildings like this, it's called a skyline. You could say, my city has a really beautiful skyline. Matching. When two people are wearing the same clothes. So we can say that these two are wearing matching clothes, pink and blue, matching clothes. Enjoy. I enjoy exercising 
in the morning because I can watch the sunrise and look at the skyline. Tank top. Tank top is a shirt with no arms. So you can see that the woman is wearing a tank top, but the girl is wearing a t-shirt. Tank top, t-shirt. Now let's see how to use these words to describe the picture. I can see two women standing on a balcony or roof, flexing their biceps at sunrise. They're wearing nearly matching clothes. The only difference is that the adult is wearing a tank top and the child is wearing a t-shirt. In the background, there is a beautiful skyline. Okay, the next picture. The first word is prepare. That means to make something in advance. So before you go to the gym, you should prepare a healthy breakfast. Prepare. All right. Fitness. The practice of getting fit. So you could say, I think fitness is very important. Or, I'm trying to make fitness a bigger part of my life. Health. Health. Being healthy. <laughs> Don't know how to describe it other than that, but you could say that preparing healthy... F oh, I don't want to say healthy. Preparing fresh food is good for your health. And practicing fitness is also good for your health. Lifestyle. The way you live. Um, my lifestyle is very active. I like running and I like yoga. I have an active lifestyle. So we don't really know what's in the bowl, but I wrote oatmeal because I wanted to show you the difference between oatmeal and muesli. Oatmeal is just the oats. Okay, just the oats. But muesli is oats, fruits, and nuts all mixed together. Nutrition. Sorry. Oh, this one is a, a noun, so a, you, what, an example sentence could be uh, nutrition is very important to a healthy lifestyle. I think it's the most important thing, the nutrition. Of course, exercise is healthy, but nutrition is really, that's the thing that can really change your fitness level. Discipline, being able to continue doing something hard. So if you want to improve your lifestyle, you need to have discipline. Or as regards to the picture, I think this woman has discipline because she's exercising and she's eating healthy foods. The woman is preparing for a workout by eating a bowl of oatmeal. It seems that fitness is an important part of her lifestyle. Having good nutrition and discipline is good for one's health. And I hope you learned something today with the vocabulary. For homework, I want you to write about your healthy activities and try to use some of these words. You can write three paragraphs, okay? And secondly, you can uh, record yourself describing these pictures. Use your phone to record your voice and then listen back. Listen back and try to hear what it sounds like compared to my voice. What's the difference? And that's the activity for today. 
to help you improve your vocabulary and speaking and describe pictures about healthy lifestyles. Thanks for watching the video.